Hi, my name is Blake Levine. I am a sober coach and I want to talk about the street names people are using for Percocet. People are calling them Perks or Blue Dynamite or Roxy's. This is a very dangerous drug if you are using it and you are addicted to this. Many people think that it's fun and not a big deal to be addicted to Percocet. The problem is when you have an addiction to something like Percocet, it can ruin your whole life. You might end up becoming dependent on it and you will need it to function. If you don't use it, you can get very sick and you can face many problems and oftentimes this will lead to other issues like heroin and other very severe problems. My little brother became addicted to opiates and eventually began using heroin. He died at age 27. He was living at a ski resort, working on a mountain. He had many friends. He was very popular. One evening he went to the bar out drinking with his friends and he went home and he decided to use one needle of heroin. The next morning his roommate came in, found him dead, laying in a pool of blood. I hate to be graphic, but I want to share this story so you know the danger of abusing drugs. If you do not deal with these issues, you will see your life fall apart. I know that your family or loved ones would want to tell you that you need to end your addiction. You cannot minimize it or make it like it is not a big deal. It is a very serious, severe situation. You must go out there and find help, whether it be going to a rehab facility, going to Narcotics Anonymous meetings, Alcoholics Anonymous meetings, wherever you can to find support because when you are addicted to Percocet, do not think it will not ruin your life. Sadly, with drugs, there are only a few ways the situation can turn out. One is death, which obviously is horrible and will ruin your family's lives and those around you. The other is going to jail, whether it's trying to get money for your drugs or doing illegal things to get the drugs or even being high and driving and hurting someone. The third thing is to be in recovery. This is to go and seek help and to work on your addiction. It is not too late to do this in your own life. If you have a loved one or yourself that are facing these issues, please go and seek help. If you are someone that wants to help others facing these issues, we need more people trained as sober coaches, people to work as social workers, therapists, psychologists, life coaches, and to help those facing these issues. Whatever you can do, please, let's try to work together to help end addiction. I wrote an amazing book which shares the story of my brother and many of the clients I've worked as a therapist and coach, helping them with addiction and mental illness. The book is called Depression, Bipolar, and Heroin, A Holistic Guide to Dealing with Mental Health and Addiction. It is a great book filled with hope and stories and knowledge to allow you to have the courage and strength to overcome the addiction you face. We also do a coaching program where we work by phone and Skype and text and allow you to make change. Please see my website at BipolarOnline.com. That's BipolarOnline.com where you can learn about all of these things. Have a wonderful day and know it's not too late to stop the deal you have with your addiction. You can end it today. Make this video the turning point in your life. Go and seek help. Do not be afraid. You can do this. We believe in you and it's not too late to end your addiction. Thanks so much and check out BipolarOnline.com.